Hey everybody, this is Ed from the Whiskey Tangent Podcast. I'm here with Scott. Hey everybody. And we're going to do another of our famous quick takes. And I have to tell you, <laughs> I have been waiting for this one for a long time. Yes. Larceny Barrel Proof. <sighs> Whiskey Sure. Almost two years ago, Ed, we featured the regular Larceny on episode 12, Don't Fear the Weeder, Yep. in which we compared the Larceny to the Maker's Mark, ultimately finding that the Larceny, we kind of liked it a little bit better. Right, but also redeeming Maker's Mark in our personal taste buds in the process. Yes, it was surprising to us because of how cheap this is. Yeah, so in the store today, I was purposely checking out the price of Larceny, and I've sold everywhere from thirty six ninety nine and a low of thirty one ninety nine. Yeah. All right, and that's in five different stores. Flaviar, which has some interesting pricing, mm-hmm. trust me, they can be really expensive, mm-hmm. but they had this for nineteen ninety nine, <laughs> and uh, It's a great price. It's with M- free shipping. Yeah. And we're sipping on it right now. Right. Uh, the MSRP is like 25. So right. like you said, you can get it for a little bit higher, a little bit lower, but 20 is amazing price. I've been searching for the barrel proof for a strong year. It has been impossible to find in New Jersey. Yeah. And they just released it in January of 2020. Yeah. And like immediately great acclaim. So that's why it was really scarce. And then Whiskey Advocate mm-hmm. named it their 2020 Whiskey of the Year. Right. For all those who are at home, this is uh, batch A121. So there you go. Get your programs out. Yeah. So I actually have a little bit of description about it, which talks about what that means. So we are drinking the regular small batch to kind of prime our pumps, if you will, to see how it measure up to the strength of the barrel proof. Right. right. So I'm just going to read whiskey advocates description of the whiskey when they want it yeah why not sure yeah. so this is uh, david fleming from whiskey advocate weeded bourbons which feature wheat rather than rye as their secondary grain to corn have attracted legions of devotees in recent years despite there being relatively few compared to their rye counterparts weeders like pappy van winkle have achieved rock star status putting them out of the reach for many of us so when we taste a weeded bourbon that displays the soft sweet fruity profile of the style we take note Larceny Barrel Proof, our Whiskey of the Year, delivers on weeded bourbon's appeal and then some. Big and powerful, it enters the ring at above 60% ABV. Mm -hmm. But it's no lumbering heavyweight. It floats across the palate with stunning grace and subtlety. It's weeded mash bill a delicate counterpoint to its formidable proof. The original Larcy Small Batch debuted in 2012 as the modern heir to owner Heaven Hill's historic weeder, Old Fitzgerald. Following a few special appearances, this barrel-proof version launched to the general public in January 2020, offering weeded bourbon lovers an exceptional treat that's also widely available at a very affordable $50. We'll get to that. (laughs) The Larceny Barrel Proof is released three times annually in January, May, and September, and each year the releases are labeled with a code using a letter to indicate the sequence and three digits to indicate the date. This award goes to batch B520, but you'd be wise to give any of them a try. So that first letter tells you A, B, C for the release. The first number tells you which month it was, either January, May, or September. And the last two digits are the year. Mm -hmm. Uh, That $50 price MSRP, you'd be really hard-pressed to find that right now. Ed, how much did you get this for? Yeah, I got it for $89 in a store that is normally inflated. But it was the only bottle I've ever seen on a shelf in New Jersey in the last year. And I look every time I go. I look behind the counter every time I go. And I ask half the time I go. And they usually laugh at me. <laughs> and I walked into uh, Morrow Brothers, which is Dicks. near us. And um, they have a good selection. They've come through for us a couple times, but they are pricey. I mean, yeah. significantly pricey. Like where I get just saw Willet Family Estate Rye for $129. Jesus. I just saw it in the liquor store across my house for $69. I still didn't buy it at that price because oh I wanted $59. Yeah. Yeah. So That's crazy. It was amazing for me to just walk into the store look at the top shelf behind the counter like i always do and then at the very end the last thing i saw it for 89 and i have to tell you i made a squeaky noise in the back of my throat (laughs) i mean i haven't been that fucking excited in my life since i was like 12 on christmas morning i mean i was psyched go it's under 100 it's under 100 i'm definitely buying it. i'm definitely buying it and yep. just more brothers just so you know i would have paid 120 for that no I, no don't say I that would've, just you know I, how bad i wanted that was my limit probably and i have to tell you i don't know if i had a limit because i never searched for a whiskey so long and so unfulfilled and well, once again it was on flaviar for something absolutely ridiculous yeah so i looked it up yeah and uh, drizzly has it for 199 Flaviar has one bottle for one ninety nine. That's the C920. So yeah. that was released last September. Right. And then the A120, which was released in January of last year, that was 286. Then I went to Cast Cartel. They have the latest one, probably the one that we have, for 249. 
but they have the B520, the one that won Whiskey Advocates for three ninety nine. Wow. Then the biggest one I saw was some place called Liquor Store Online, four twenty nine ninety nine <laughs> for a bottle of barrel strength larceny. Wow. Whose less potent sibling is twenty dollars. Exactly. It's ridiculous. The barrel strength of that barrel, right? So, yeah. So you pour it out, you dilute it down ninety two, it's twenty five dollars. <laughs> If you keep it in the barrel, it's $400. <laughs> like It's so astronomically crazy. But like I said, we've been looking for this. Yeah. And I have tried this before. One time. Right. Scott has never tried it. And that's what really started the search because I took a, a fishing trip to Florida, which, you know, questionable decision on my part. I'm not going to lie. Mm. Got tested before I went. Got tested when I came back. But while we're at the dive bar in Jupiter, it's a great place. They have sushi and steaks and a great bar. And out in the lobby, they had a closet where they had like their overflow of their whiskeys. And I'm looking at it, and I see, wait a minute, they got barrel-proof larceny in it, and just sitting there, one bottle. Did you make a squeaky noise like you did at the No, t- not yet. Store? No, yeah, because it was new to me. I think it won some award, you right, know? Yeah, I'm like, yeah. So I get the bartender. She comes all the way over, gets the bottle with a key, opens it, brings it back to the bar, pours me and my buddy 20 bucks a drink, which I thought was okay, mm. on a globe. And I was already a little, little <laughs> buzzed up, if you will. Mm. It went down, and I had a couple of drinks that weekend. It was the best thing I had in my mouth hello <laughs> best thing i had in my mouth and uh, it was spectacular so much so that we ordered another one so i've had two of these but all in one night and it was kind of a blur so i'm really really looking forward to tasting it so i come back from the trip in december i tell scott about it i'm like listen dude i know the hype they picked it i had it it's good we got to get it we gotta get it okay let's get it well yeah let's get it yeah. let's, let's get bigfoot because the reality was <laughs> unless we were really to go outside of our comfort zone and bend over we weren't going to find it right people as you saw he just read off what the prices are now for mm-hmm. me to get this at $89, one bottle left. I don't know how it was sitting there. I, you know, this is what I have to remember. When I lose my wallet, when I scuff my knee up, when I get a flat tire, I have to remember the day there was one <laughs> bottle of varsity proof <laughs> right, left you, on the shelf. You probably got lucky. They might have had like six. They probably yeah. got an allocation. And, sure. uh, and that day, five people came in and bought right. a bottle and you were the sixth person. And honestly, Congratulations. <laughs> I was like, I'm telling you right now, it was just amazing. Well, also, uh, the price was less of a factor for you because you'd already had it. Yeah. And you already knew that you loved it. It's yeah. different when you hear about this amazing whiskey and you've never had it before. Right. And then the price is like ninety, a hundred, hundred and ten dollars. They're like, ah, right. I never had it right. before. Yeah. And so like even stuff I love, like I love heavy McKenna tenure, but now I'm at the point where I won't buy it for sixty five or seventy. I just won't. It ruins it for me. But if I see it fifty dollars, I'm buying it. And I'll just keep it until one day I'm old and I die and I have thirty seven bottles in my closet. I'm fine with that. <laughs> you can give it out to my heirs. I'll just will it to, I, I'm, will, to I'm, Scott. Scott's yes, my, thank you. To heir is human. And the um, <laughs> so and to be an heir is divine. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So this is a weeded barrel strength Kentucky straight bourbon. We have bottle A121. Right. Uh, so this was January of this year. Mash bill, same as the regular, right. larceny, 68% corn, 20% wheat, 12% yep. malted barley. Heaven yep. Hill is the distiller. Proof of this bottle again, Ed? It is 114.8. The age, there's no age statement on the Six bottle. Di- oh, sorry. Yeah, go ahead. Six to eight years. Six to eight years, yes. And one thing we have learned doing this podcast the last two years, age helps, but there's 10 years that suck out there, and there's mm-hmm. eight months old stuff that's amazing. So Yeah, so okay. we're finally going to taste it. Scott's finally going to taste it. I'm going to taste it for the first time in amazing. six months. On the nose. Uh, a lot of a lot of uh, alcohol. Yeah, it's course. Very, very alcohol forward. I mean, What's a little it, bit of fruit. Very traditional for me with a vanilla. Yeah. A very sweet vanilla and an oak. It is oaky. And I think that's from not being cut with water. Yeah. Like you get more barrel. It's barrel strength, you get barrel flavor. Right, of course. Mm. Wow. Whoa. Burst of flavor. What the flavor is unbelievable. Oh, it's so... Uh, pe- peppermint like it's oh my god it i don't want to say this but it tastes like one of those um licorice mm. necco wafers okay it's like licorice and mint like the clove remember that one yeah like um, yes like yes. the clove necco wafers you know what i mean i uh, do and and that goes with the herbaceousness of it this is completely different than what i was expecting because we were sipping it as we said on the regular larceny and the regular larceny right. does not taste like this do you get any like a of a maple at all on the flavor like a maple uh, but yeah it's so tingly on the tongue i fucking God, love it this like is it sizzles on your tongue like yeah this is fucking tremendous and what's really weird i'm getting this sort of um watery flavor in the front of my mouth maybe i'm just salivating yeah, so much I, I think that's what it is <laughs> it's intense but it's not like a burning harsh flavor Wow, this is so good. 
Yeah, I mean, I think you see what I saw when I drank it. Definitely some oak uh, in the background. It's not as oaky as it was on the smell. I've never tasted anything like it. I'm going to be dead honest with you. Yeah. I mean, we, we called it a clove necko wafer. <laughs> I mean, but that doesn't even encompass what no. you're tasting. No, because like, there is sweet flavors in there, too. It's very, very sweet. Mm-hmm. A sweet, minty licorice. I mean, I definitely see the mint. It's like... Uh, Almost like mint itself. like the Yeah, like if you were chewing on a mint leaf. Yes, exactly. Like that's how intense exactly. it is. Exactly. That's exactly what I mean. Yeah, yeah. So I've put some water on mine, and it opens up flavors. Have you done that yet? Put some water no, on No, no, I didn't. Um... At 114, it's burning me in the back of the throat a little bit. Sure, sure. With the water on it, it's a lot sweeter. Mm -hmm. I'm tasting like oranges and cherries. and Yes. I am tasting a little more maple. I'm tasting some of the baking spices. Mm -hmm. I'm definitely Mm -hmm. tasting the sweet fruits. Honestly, this is extraordinary. This is one of the best bourbons that I've had in a long time. I'm glad you're saying that because this is why I've been pursuing it for so long. Yeah. I mean, I will be vacuum sealing this and putting it into the vault. So um, (laughs) just opening this knowing that i don't have another larceny barrel proof stresses me out i hate to open <laughs> bottles when i don't have another bottle at home because i might not be able to drink it when i want all right so on their website they have a bunch of cocktails now yeah. not specifically for the barrel proof uh-uh. uh but for larceny and i thought maybe if you're amenable we could make one drink with it and split it so only two ounces so we each have an ounce uh-huh. and i actually have some of my glasses here so we can okay. use what we have here no you're allowed to finish i'm not being a total <laughs> psychopath about it i want you to enjoy it tonight what drink were you thinking of making okay so the drink is and i thought it would be a cool addition to our prohibition era high proof cocktails episode that we did last year around this time okay called the getaway car okay and it's only a three ingredient cocktail the bourbon larceny yeah orange liqueur we have some cointreau oh yeah sure and a half an ounce of lemon juice and you have lemons and i have lemons i'm down for that You're down for that and then all of a sudden you hear like uh, standing in for the larceny barrel proof when i'll be old as for number seven <laughs> well, that'll be regular larceny right. regular larceny when i'll take the roll and a shot of like everclear <laughs> it'll be regular larceny 10 drops of everclear will now be the barrel proof larceny that i don't want to waste on the drink i know i know but i think it'll be good all right let's yeah. do it we're gonna make a drink um i'm gonna have another one of these i'm telling you right now oh, yeah listen if you want to know how much fun i've had with larceny listen to the mictors episode because that's going to be recorded after this right and, and, and the mictors <laughs> one actually will come out before this right so, so when you're wondering why i'm so hammered on the mictors episode is because what i'm going to be doing right now for the next half hour before oh, we do that shit. All this, right. is, this is my day this is a bourbon drinking day and i've been planning for this for a while after my being f- like waterboarded scotches <laughs> <laughs> okay well, we'll take a break make the drink and come right back All right, so we're back. I made the getaway car, mm-hmm. a cocktail on the Larceny website. It's two ounces of the Larceny barrel proof bourbon, mm. one ounce of orange liqueur, and a half an ounce of lemon juice served in a sugar rimmed glass with a lemon peel garnish. Right, so we used Contro. Contro as the orange liqueur, yes. Contro. I don't want to speak French, which is 80 <laughs> proof. And the point is, I love mixing whiskey with liquor. <laughs> like, like, so you cut the 114.8 proof whiskey with an 80 proof <laughs> liqueur. That's how you take it down tonight. <laughs> All right, we're going to try it right now. Yeah. Well, that doesn't suck. Oh. Hmm. Interesting. I might cut a little bit back on the lemon. Yeah, but that's why you need the sugar rim. Mm-hmm. It is too lemony. I feel like we're on the uh, cocktail combat right. again, and uh, yep. we're Anders now. Is going. Right, right, you right. could have toned the lemon down right, a little bit, right? And and I think that's true because you really can't taste the whiskey in this. This will hit you hard. If you were drinking these all night, you're going to wake up in Bangkok on the hangover. <laughs> right on the hangover. Mm. It's really good. It is good. It's it's almost like a sour. I love the name, the getaway car. That that does evoke like prohibition yeah, days. I mean, <laughs> the orange and the lemon. Wow, that really works very well. I've taken something away from this, even if I don't ever, and I never will do it with Larceny no, Barrel Proof no. again. This is special. It was a travesty, actually. <laughs> a travesty. Was, it, was a, it was a crime against humanity. I convinced Ed to do something he didn't want to do.
But in the process, we did uncover, which I had never done before, orange liqueur and lemon juice mm -hmm. in a cocktail. They play off each other in a fascinating way. You have to work on the levels, but mm -hmm. I have mm -hmm. to say there's something there that's kind of magical. Yeah, I would probably cut the lemon juice in half and put a little bit more whiskey in it. Yep. All right. I can sum this up very simple. All right. There's nothing I've had that tastes like this. And th that puts it in a very elite range for me. It almost drinks like a rye yes. with its herbaceousness and then the clove and the very the, fair. The anise licorice flavors that we're, yeah. we're talking about before. Yes. And that could be why I love it so yeah. much. It's really a whiskey for anybody. You're going to pick out whatever right. flavors that you really enjoy. This whiskey has it. I can't believe that I'll meet someone that goes like, oh, the Lara City Bow Proof? Oh, yeah. I mean, there's always a troll online that likes to feel special. I know everyone loves it, but I found it quite pedestrian. Well, you're a dick, <laughs> and you know you are. Well, and I'll, yeah. You know, I'll tell you right now, there's a lot of whiskeys out there for over $100 that are not anywhere as good as Lara City. I had Christmas morning when I walked into that store. Yep. And if you're a whiskey nerd like us, this is what you live for because you don't win a lot anymore. I used to win a lot. I used to get Eagle Rare for 32 I used to get Willet Rye for $49. It was a great time. And then two years later, here we are, everything $75. Yeah, this is the best whiskey that I've had this year. All right. I'm going I'm to say that. And we did our top 15 list. This one would definitely be in the top 15. Oh, yeah. It top will, five, I right, think. It will upset the apple cart. Yeah. So, for the Whiskey Tangent Podcast, I'm Ed. I'm Scott. If you can get some Larceny Barrel Proof in you, you're going to love it. Cheers, everybody. <laughs> Later. Later.